And what's cool is this applies to my own scientific approach of life because I'm able to find inspiration. This is so intense. Oh my goodness. Gotta get inspired by the world. You can't just like, it's not just like a you thing, you know? And if it is, then you have a lot to learn, my friend. What the Dang. Oh shit. Jesus Christ, that's what happened. I missed it too. Wow. Interesting. And this is architecture. <laughs> I just wanted to execute on something for today. Um, I had a whole different video concept for Minecraft, but that's going to require a bit more time and a bit more experience with gaming again because I'm going to basically just try to manufacture that video on entirely on PlayStation, on, the, on my PS4. And, you know, just to show that everything is possible and anything is possible. But um, yeah, that wraps up this little commentary video. The next one is going to be explaining energy through Minecraft. And what does that mean is like this. And energy consumption as in like crops like that. Uh, energy production as in the flowing water alongside here. This stuff flows, right? It makes this land fertile and then ideally in real life it burns biofuel in a way where it's like just nutrients breaking down and then that fuels a cycle of life followed by a cycle of death followed by life again and so on and so forth but you know this is a cool little concept and I hope this video does well if you are not from my page I, I post a lot of scientific mushroom educational kinds of videos but I've been really expanding into gardening and into entrepreneurship so it's pretty cool. Um, have a nice day. So yeah, so what people will really tend to not think about is how the physics in this game have a lot to do with like physics in real life and of course it's still a video game but like um, a sense of gravity applies to, to this game and that's pretty cool oops if not me for the, that's happened and so does that you know that kind of energy it's pretty kinetic it's pretty cool man and it's explosive <laughs> it's, it's so fun this game really just applies to life in general and there's no uh, discrimination at all and what does that mean? Well, that means, you know, people really think that uh, video games are distractions, for example, when really to a, to a creative person, it could be entirely inspiring. And it's not talked about a lot. Well, I, look at the architecture. You know, I, I remember building, uh, mapping out, creating ideas in my head, and then bringing them to life in Minecraft. and. I think that's what kind of Minecraft is meant to be, and you, you could apply all kinds of things from gardening to to redstone processes to you know building really cool monuments like this map is for example. But you c it could also be used for conventional modeling. You know, um, uh, shape my lab and model it within this game, and it obviously won't entirely apply to real life, but those two worlds do collide definitely. And um, I found myself gardening in real life right a few months ago, and I was actually using a pickaxe, and it was really funny because I felt like I was playing real life Minecraft. <laughs> so yeah, guys, this is the concept. It's real life Minecraft. Um, right now, I'm currently playing on a on a world. I believe it's the Mount Olympus map by some berry dude. It's pretty cool. It's a free map. It looks super beautiful. This dude definitely put a lot of time into it. So shout out to him real quick. But yeah, um, you know, I hope this is as entertaining to you as it is to me. I'm able to really just explore my childhood self through this video game. And uh, it's pretty cool because with a new set of lens where I'm at right now in today's world and today's times in my own life. And that's entrepreneurship. And um, 
And this has a lot to do with it because, <laughs> ironically, this has has turned into a really productive system for me. Um, as in, I'm able to make content on whatever I'm really up to, and it's cool that I have people that generally fuck with me, so shout out to you guys. Um, and where I'm at now is like, I'm just able to be myself and make all these different lane changes and explore new hobbies and you know from mushroom science to science in general to gardening to entrepreneurship to clothing brand to, to clothing brand stuff to video production to documentaries to things like this you know where I'm exploring sciences and concepts I normally talk about in person um, on lives right on Instagram but um, in this case I'm doing it <laughs> over a, a video game and that's pretty cool. I guess you could say it's like a, like a commentary kind of feeling. Um, I guess this is where this could this video could turn into. Um, I'm going to be editing it on my PS4 as I don't have my laptop right now. And it's really cool because I'm turning that into an opportunity to make a video out of, you know, this interesting little inconvenience. But that's what life is about, you know. There's d distractions in every single domain, and it's about how you deal with them. And if you are a wasteful person, you will find t so much waste and distractions. But, you know, I'm past this, the survival mindset, and where I'm at now is I'm just trying to do cool stuff and find myself. And um, if, if it's through a video game, I'm going to do exactly that. So, unconditionally, too. And time is never wasted. If you are a wasteful person and you cannot make time work for you, that's on you. But right now, all of my assets are simply generating value in some way, whether it's with attention span or m monetary gain from my from my clothing brand or public relation attention through this. Actually, um, I'm getting to work, and this is pretty cool. I was trying to go live with this concept thing, but I couldn't really go live on this. I normally go live and just talk to the people and allow it to be really interactive. But I, I wasn't able to do this in this exact situation, but that's okay because you know uh, we live and learn. <laughs> so I kind of just rambled on, but I'm gonna show you a bit of the map right now. Spider's cool. That's a sick as a globe. Oh, oh, this shit. So this is apparently the temple. The temple. This is Mount. Uh, um, this is Mount Olympus. This whole map is very much themed in like a Greek kind of setting of course you can see all the architecture it's so beautiful again you could totally model you could totally build farms and and things like that that apply to real life on this in this game and uh, this turned from a little intentional video to a flat out commentary but that's okay uh, the, the intentional aspect is still coming and that video is going to be a lot more deeper so this will be able to really just lead and, and prolude prelude prelude to that uh, to that video to that concept and that concept is gonna be how to use Minecraft in real life and that sounds really silly but you know there's so much stuff that you can learn from physics to water to motion to YouTube yeah mom I don't have a face cam <laughs> yeah, this is where we're at